Today, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to capture an elephant. Now, let me be clear. I'm not going to capture, like, physically an elephant. Um, but there's this park by my house, and I've driven past it many times, and they have this little elephant statue. And I want one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there, I'm going to 3D scan it, and then I'm going to 3D print my own, because that sounds like a fun way to spend today. So let's go. All right, friends, I got to the park. The sun came out, which I don't think is perfect for 3D scanning. I think cloudy is a little bit better. We're going to try it anyway. I already saw a dog, and I've located the elephant. Okay, here he is. Here's the elephant. Obviously, I can't film and scan him at the same time, so I'm going to stop. Whoa. I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to fire up Polycam. Okay. First capture is done. I've got the elephant. Uh, some people did walk by and probably thought I was crazy pointing my phone at this thing. But I think I found something else that we could scan while we're here. It looks like over there. That looks like a turtle. I'll bet we can capture that turtle. Let's do it. So here's the turtle, and I just scanned it. I hope it turns out okay, but as you can see, the sun came out, and normally when you 3D scan something with photos, you want to have really even lighting conditions, because you can see my shadow will definitely interfere with the color and maybe even the mesh that gets generated. Um, but I can't really control the sun. If I could, I would have it be sunny way more often, because I live in Ohio, where the sun is basically allergic to us. Um, but we came here to capture elephant, and we got elephant and maybe also turtle. So I'm going to call that a, su a success. As soon as I got home, I cleaned up the scan out of Polycam and fired up the Ender Easy Belt. This is a free open source project that I designed myself and it converts an Ender 3 into an infinite axis belt printer. I think the print angle will come in handy so that we don't need any support material under the trunk of the elephant. I did it. This elephant was once at a park near my house and now I have it in my hands. I'm pretty happy with how the print turned out. The overhang on the back of the elephant came out a little bit rough, but on the opposite side, we were able to print in mid-air and everything came out nice and clean. Make sure to tap the like button if you want to see me capture more things like this.